So my name is Recep Ozdag. I'm the Vice President of Product Management and General Manager for the Network Visibility Business within Exia, which is a key site business. So we'll get into that. Um, Exia really started off back in 97 as a test and measurement company and it IPO'd around 2000. So it's been around for a while. And in 2017, we got acquired by Keysight Technologies, and I'll talk about Keysight as well. We have about 6,000 customers worldwide. Of course, we've been around for 20 years. We started as a test measurement company. We still are in the test measurement business, and we're number one there. In visibility, we're the technology leader. And I'll talk about it later in the session along with my colleagues, because today's tech field day is really dedicated to visibility. We're not really going to touch on uh, test all that much. So Keysight Technologies, you might be wondering, what is Keysight Technologies? It is actually the original HP startup that was founded in Palo Alto back in 1939. So HP started as a test and measurement company. Um, <clears throat> over time, of course, it grew and went into printers, computers, servers. And then around 99, it spun off. It spun off the test and measurement company as Agilent, and HP remained as a printer, you know, computer and server company. Um, and that Agilent, while it grew the test and measurement business, it also went, wanted to get into life sciences. So it used many of the uh, proceeds from the test and measurement business, business to um, develop that life, life sciences business. And around you know, 2014, it also spun off. It said, well, let's give the test and measurement to Keysight Technologies, and Agilent will remain as a life sciences company. So Keysight is the original HP, and in 2017, Keysight acquired Exia. Now, going back to Key, uh, Exia, uh, while we started, started as a test and measurement company, around 2012, 2013, we acquired two companies. Nadui, N N uh, Anui, which was really focused on developing network packet brokers, high performance network packet brokers, and I'll talk about it. It was really to do tap and aggregation and do many advanced things on packet processing to send to your tools. Um, NetOptics at that time was the number one tap vendor. And we acquired these two companies and created our network visibility business. Um, then around 2016, combining the technologies of these two companies along with our expertise in test and measurement, uh, we put, that, put them together and introduced our homegrown Vision One packet broker. And it's still around, it's our flagship product. Um, in 2016, we developed visibility for cloud. When I say cloud, I mean on-prem, off-prem, VMware, OpenStack, as well as public cloud. It, it covers all of that. Um, in 2017, <laughs> acquired by Keysight. Um, of course, since then, we've introduced many, many products. But just recently, a couple of months ago, we introduced a solution for edge computing. And I, when I talk about edge computing, I, I include IoT, edge networks, remote and branch offices. Essentially, how do you provide visibility and security as you branch out with these, with these trends? And just two weeks ago, um, at Cisco Live, we introduced our latest generation Vision X packet broker, targeting hyperscalers, large service providers, as well as enterprises. So Tehran is going to talk more about Vision E1S and Vision X. Sushil will cover uh, CloudLens. Um, we do you know, uh, address a broad market here. The top 15 network equipment manufacturers are our customers, um, 47 of the top 50 carriers as well as the top 77 Fortune 100 companies. Um, typically on the test side, uh, we work more with network equipment manufacturers and service providers. On the visibility side, it's carriers along with the Fortune, uh, I would say 1,000 uh, companies. Uh, you really need to have a large data center or um, a, a, a large footprint, remote branch offices, edge computing, to really uh, need have the need for packet brokers and tasks, but we'll get into that. So combined, the two companies now are involved in pre-deployment and post-deployment of many of these things. So in any of the supply chain, whether it's chip design, testing, board design, device, appliance, and network and cloud, Keysight essentially touches almost all of these. And its revenue is about $4 billion a year, so it's a very large company. On the networking and cloud, that's where Exia mostly plays in, and the rest of the Keysight Classic is really on the first four. So hopefully that gives you a bit of insight as to what Exia does, as well as Keysight does. So that was really my sh very short introduction.